Max Track 2.5 inch leveling kit is one of the most affordable ways to level out your truck and remove the factory rake stance on your 2004 and up F-150. This is also a great option if you're looking to fit up to a set of 33 inch tires with an increase in ground clearance. The strut spacer design is a bolt-on install that includes all hardware needed. I'll be giving it 2 out of 3 wrenches on the difficulty meter and expect it to take about 2 hours to complete. Made for both the 2 wheel drive and 4 wheel drive F-150s and at just over 100 bucks, this is going to be one of the most affordable ways of raising the front end of your truck and leveling out that infamous factory stance, increasing your ground clearance. This is a great option if you're looking to gain a few more inches for off-road trails or squeeze on those bigger tires without cutting into your fender for any permanent modifications. With those extra inches of front lift, we tested the stock tires as well as 33-inch tires. Max Track says you'll be able to fit a 33 inch without permanent modification and you can see the 33s do fit like stated quite nicely. Some customers have even gone up to a 35 inch tire without rubbing or modification. Anything more will require additional work. This kit doesn't give you crazy lift like some other lift options, even stock tires will still look good. I personally don't think they'll look too small or undersized. These spacers are on the higher side when it comes to how much lift they provide. Most options are in the one and a half to two inch range but they generally cost about the same as max track options we have here. A great value with even more lift, a great bang for your buck option in my opinion. If you're concerned with how factory tires might look with this kit, I recommend taking a look at those smaller kits. The spacers themselves are stamped with a quarter inch steel for strength and then powder coated for long lasting corrosion resistance. Compared to a more involved lift kit that can easily start at a couple hundred bucks, where an install is a lot more involved and you can easily go over a thousand bucks without much effort, Two and a half inch spacers like these still make you more capable off-road. The lift is still relatively modest and doesn't change your CV angles or stock suspension geometry too much. So you should be good for off-roading as long as you're not going crazy with rock crawling. Switching over to the install. Again, this is slightly more involved than a typical bolt-on, but because no major modification is needed, this is gonna get two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. And expect it to take two to three hours. The tools you're gonna need is a ratchet and socket set, a rubber mallet, a jack and jack stands, or a lift. First step is going to get the truck in the air and take off the front two tires. Remove the lower sway bar and link hardware with sockets. Now loosen the upper ball joint nut and upper strut mount nuts and separate the ball joints. Use a mallet against the spindle to separate the joint. From here you can remove the upper ball joint nut and lower and top strut hardware to remove the strut. With the strut removed, install the new Max Track front spacer using the included hardware to attach to the top of the strut. Now attach the top of the strut to the vehicle, then reconnect the bottom and torque to spec. You may need a jack and pry bar to attach the upper ball joint to the spindle and then attach the sway bar end link. And then you can put the wheel back on and repeat these same steps for the opposite side. After both sides are done, you're ready to check out your truck's new stance. That's my review on Max Track's two and a half inch leveling kit. Check these out and more at americantrucks.com.